What do we have here is a praying mantis that has lost its foreleg and has a deformed back leg. This is the head right here. Um, but you'll notice something strange. And that is the, the body is still moving. As a matter of fact, it can even stand up on its own. This is kind of the chicken with the head cut off syndrome. There's a package of neurons that's actually responsible for um, keeping the body, moving the body. You can see here, let's, uh, the, the arm is moving. Uh, humans have something similar to this and it's it's in basically the the genitals so if a man is paralyzed at the neck he can still uh, reproduce and like yeah isn't that just the weirdest thing ever the arms are moving they'll they'll clench they'll Um, I don't think they can attack. It seems like it needs the the head in order to actually do that. Oh, but here, if we touch this, you can see the the head. I mean, the arms are flailing like it's kind of in a defense posture or something. Like. Very strange. Very, very strange. Once again, you know, that's the head right there. So, it's not the head that's controlling the system. It's this cluster of neurons that's located elsewhere in the body. Now, if you were to cut a chicken's head off it would still run around and I did see that as a child back on the farm it's weird needless to say to watch a chicken run all the way across the barnyard and hit a wall and get back up and keep on running but there you have it